with regard to the input credit which uh, the which actually my clients are facing a problem in taking it and uh, for claiming the input credit and i would like to highlight two issues here one is when do i get my input credit and how do i get my input credit now as per the sections and the provisions laid down in the gst act i am supposed to claim my input credit when i have a valid tax invoice it should be from a registered uh, gst and number holder and the commodity should be specified rate of tax should be specified and there are various other things which the invoice tax invoice should carry so if all these parameters are met with then i am eligible for claiming my input credit and based on the invoice issued by my vendor to me i claim my input credit now the next aspect of consideration as per the provisions or sections which are laid down in the gst act is that until and unless this tax which i am claiming as input credit is paid by my vendor i am not eligible for claiming of this input tax credit now i would like to ask a question how am i responsible for a third party compliance because i in good faith and in good interest and to see that my business operates at a normal at a, at a comfortable level i make my purchases that is when i say i it is my clients so please don't refer it to me as personally i am representing on behalf of my clients who are small traders msmes small scale industries who are facing a lot of problem with regard to their work capital uh, working capital because of these issues now until and unless these taxes are paid the sections and the provisions laid down in the gst act says that i am not eligible to claim my point is that once this invoice is uploaded by the concerned vendor from whom i have purchased are in in the event even if he is not uploading if i am uploading the invoice then the credit should be given to me because i am uploading it based on the invoice issued by him now if he is a defaulter or if he is a non compliant person i feel it is the responsibility of the authorities to chase him down and see that he complies with the issues so my request to the council is that this particular aspect should not be looked at Uh, in totality i have put the entire thing under one umbrella all the provisions are coming under one umbrella and treat and denying me the credit which is actually legitimately available and legitimately i can claim so now the point if i have one more suggestion for the council is that they can have different kind of mechanisms here they can ask us to produce the invoices which are not uh, uploaded by him for claiming the credit or there should be a different mechanism laid down uh, wherein uh, the credit is allowed to the person claiming it immediately so i i request the council to uh, draw a different kind of a mechanism for all these things rather than linking it uh, with the payment of tax and disallowing the credit which is actually uh, harming the business and maybe the tax collections or whatever you are seeing the fears uh, in the community in the business community is this may be one of the reasons and this is a very frequently asked questions uh, among the questions asked to me this is a very frequently asked question by my clients to me for which i have no answer so this is my request to the council and i hope council considers the request on behalf of my clients i thank you very much